I, am, I can assure you, Mbadi has no idea what bottom up means. <laughs> because he's a member of ODM, I know him. So for us, we needed to have a conversation first, to have a document that says, yeah. this is what we're going to do and this is the priority areas. For ODM, our priority areas have never changed. We are a pro-people party. We are not going there to talk about all these other things. For instance, uh, Trevor, yeah. I as SG of ODM hold that he, the first thing I would do in government is to roll back all the taxation that has been imposed by this government. Is John Badi going to be able to do that as a, as a cabinet secretary for treasury? Without a framework, without a, a conversation. So, so do they have the blessing of the party? They do not. The position that we gave in the statement that I issued two days ago is that they are going to join government in their individual capacities. And we don't begrudge them. In fact, I wish them well. But for you to conflate and say that this is the decision of ODM or that ODM has joined a party or, or a government, you have to show me a document. Because when there are negotiations yeah. to uh, form a coalition government, and these two, luckily for, for me, yeah. both of them are lawyers, there has to be an instrument an instrument that lays out the nature of the relationship and what we aim to achieve together. So will they be facing disciplinary like what OGN and the rest went? That is not a decision for Sifuna. I speak for organs of the party and I can tell you that there has not been any meeting of a, or any organs of a party after the conversation that has happened yesterday. So we will be briefing the public because there's nothing to hide. Okay. What has happened is this. I as a lawyer understand that the president has a prerogative to nominate any person to his cabinet any person. So if he has been having conversations with John Badi, you will not get me to say anything uh, uh, bad about John Badi. He's a man that I've worked with in uh, ODM for a very long time. But if he is honest, he will tell you there was no resolution of any organ of a party because he sits in his organs of a party okay. for him to join government. He has uh, been tapped by the president. He has accepted. Yeah. So we, have, we don't begrudge these four people. But for you to conflate and say ODM has joined government is to uh, tell an open lie. So uh, why is this an open lie when the chairman, who is John Badi, yes. is in cabinet? Now, the this two is, deputies, this wait, is the, wait, 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 the yes. two deputies, alias and Joho, weekly for Paranya, are in cabinet. The minority leader, or PO and I, yes. is in cabinet. That's what I'm telling you. So how if, can you then say that you've not joined government? This is, this is what I want to tell you. ODM is not the SG. I am not, I am not ODM. The party chairman is not ODM. ODM is a movement of people, over 5 million Kenyans who are uh, registered members of ODM. And there is a way in which organizations such as ODM make a decision. Let me tell you, Trevor, why we were insisting on having a conversation before any of these things happen. Because right now, like Sifuna, I eat, dream, and uh, leave ODM. If today I find myself seated next to uh, Kindiki in cabinet, to discuss what, what are we going to implement? Because a conversation would have happened in which we would have agreed that yeah. first of all, the president is going to rip up his uh, bottom-up manifesto. And then we are going to rip up our Azimio manifesto. We come up with a document that encompasses the beliefs and the, uh, the priorities of both political parties. What, uh, what, what manifesto are these people going to implement? I had the president very clearly yesterday. He said, he, they are going to implement the bottom-up uh, yeah. transformative manifesto. It's possible that this could have happened without the knowledge of the party leader. I have told you there's a distinction between knowledge and blessing. Process is important, uh, my brothers. These two uh, friends of mine are lawyers and I've said, yeah. uh, they understand. Tomo Jenda understands that process is important. We're always saying the same thing. I started by saying that there is no table that I will not go to. I don't consider William Ruto such a bad person that I cannot have a conversation with him. There is no one I cannot have a conversation with, Trevor. We all understand that it is in times of crisis such as this that leadership must emerge. I have been on record saying, and I remember even getting into trouble with some of the people online, I will talk to anyone. I will talk because at the end of the day, that is the way out of the current crisis. We need to be able to come to a table and have a conversation about how we resolve these issues. These uh, two colleagues are also senators like myself. Uh, a few weeks ago, we had a conversation with Aaron Cheruyot, a person that I have come to greatly respect because of the uh, way that he has conducted himself in the past few days and understanding that the nation is greater than all of us. Sifuna is not averse to having conversations about the nation, about anyone. You know, so we sat down with Aaron Cheruyot and we said, there are things that we have done wrong. All of us have contributed to the current state of affairs. Can we have a conversation? And I was very proud, Trevor. Yesterday, the Senate passed a motion 
passed a motion to require some of these things that we've been saying are preconditions. For instance, compensation of uh, the people who were uh, shot and killed during the Mandamano or Hat, compensation of businesses that were been destroyed. Uh, we have uh, called for a, an amnesty for all the people who were uh, arrested during peaceful protests. And you saw some of that uh, in the president's speech. This is a result of a conversation, an honest conversation about the state of affairs of our country. I am not averse to conversations. But process is important because it lays out what the responsibilities and expectations of both parties are going to be. When uh, Raila Odinga got into government with uh, uh, Mwai Kibaki, there was a guiding document uh, for agenda items, and this is what we're going to expect, and this needs to be done, and if this doesn't done, the coalition collapses, and so on and so forth. That document doesn't have to be signed by Sifuna. If my party leader uh, enters into an agreement like that and it is sanctioned by the uh, organs of the party, I am also bound. I am telling you, hey. I need to bear true witness to members of ODM. Members of ODM, I speak for members of ODM. I have to bear true witness to them as to the records of the party and what has happened in the meetings of the party. There is no document. <laughs> Tom Ojenda is a member of only one organ of the party, and he doesn't, he doesn't even attend PG meetings. When was the last time Ojenda attended the PG meetings? I take records of those meetings. I have not seen him in a PG since he went to State House. He doesn't know what the party is talking about. So you cannot ask him about the, the, the conversations within ODM. All we are saying is possible for the president to appoint individuals. He has seen the talent. In John Badi or whoever else, he can appoint them. If you ask me as SG of ODM, I'm not going to present a name of a person who will necessitate a by-election that I have to go back to the ground and start campaigning for a position. Yet there are many members of ODM, some of them uh, who lost elections, some of them who have never been elected and they have the talent. They have never been looked at because of the party affiliation that they, they hold. As SG, I have a global view of all the talent in the party. I am not going to present four men. I am going to present two women and two, two men. That is what I do. I'm going to present a name of a youth because the issues that are being raised right now have a lot to do with young people. You are telling me there are no young people in ODM. I am not going to take somebody from a position that he is already holding to give him another position. It is not possible. Okay. That's what I'm telling you. These are individuals who were tapped by the president directly. It was not a conversation in the party. Okay. And yeah, what does that, that mean a, for ODM now? The, now it doesn't mean leadership. anything. ODM, ODM as a party will remain a party. <laughs> it is possible for people to leave the party. How many people have left ODM? The party has remained. And as I said, me, what I expect is that uh, these people will now vacate these party positions to allow the party to refresh itself. Okay. Let them pursue their, we don't begrudge them. Let them pursue their own personal uh, uh, ambitions without having to tether the party to a decision that they took as individuals. And you what know? does this mean for Azimio? Because <coughs> the other coalition I, members have disowned ODM. That, that's what I'm saying. No, nobody they nobody has disowned ODM. Nobody has disowned ODM. You know, you people in the media, you try to uh, sow uh, discord for nothing. I was speaking to members of Azimio yesterday. Nobody has disowned uh, uh, ODM. All of them have said they are Nobody not. has disowned ODM. You would have to show me a resolution of Azimio saying they have disowned ODM. They have not disowned ODM. You don't in know fact, what about. There's a difference between...